listening to the Wealthy On podcast, and they were talking about how the regional banks are in trouble. They were talking about how we have more debt to income ratio right now than we have in history in this country. How they are predicting that there is going to be a housing crisis because people aren't going to make their payments. And you might say, well, Mary Jo, why can't they make their payments? It's a 3% loan rate. How can you not make your payment? Well, if we listen to Dave the dipstick and we do what he says and we go out and get a 15-year mortgage at 3%, our payment is much higher, right? If we would have gotten that same mortgage for 30 years at maybe 3.2%, our payment would be lower. What is happening in this country right now is that people are losing jobs, especially in the tech industry. How are those people going to make their house payment? They were told to get a 15-year note. They don't have jobs. And what if they do have a job and they can go refinance that loan? Probably it's going to be 6%, right? Banks are losing money hand over fist with these low interest rates. Because they have money in investments that are 2 3%. And they don't have enough money coming in. Because why? We have this massive inflation and all of our stinking money is going to buy groceries. We don't have money to be depositing into the bank. We're lucky we have money to go to Walmart and buy what we need for the week. They were talking about this very subject on Wealthy On as well. He was interviewing a lady, which isn't normal, so you can go back into their podcast and find this. But she was talking about how they have manipulated the numbers to make us believe people are still buying things. They say people are spending more money. It's all good. The economy is fine. Well, the economy is not fine because people are spending more, but they're not buying more items. It's just that the items that they have purchased are costing more. That is a fake look at what is happening in this economy. Now, if you continue to listen to the Wealthy On podcasts, They are talking about the fact that if rates don't come up higher, even higher than where they're at, we are going to have 10% inflation. So rates need to come out to to bring down inflation. When are they going to peak? When are they going to do this? This bank failure is just the beginning of what happens with low interest rates when we are buying assets at such a low rate. And now... That is a devalued asset because everything that we can buy today is higher. It's like buying cows high and selling them low. That is not how you want to do that. 